James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, September 24, 2023, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. It looks like we've had at least three M flares, whereas some of the data says we've had more, which I will point out very quickly. This was a 4.7 magnitude M flare. I believe that all these came from the same sunspot, but we'll look very soon here. This was an actual, it came out to be an M1. This also was an M1, barely breaking that M level threshold. There's three, but Noah's data says something much different. Believe it or not, after the third M1 that barely cleared the fence, as far as an M-class solar flare, we had a polar absorption event. It's a very weak flare. I think it was caused perhaps by the 4.7 M-flare earlier and maybe, well, exaggerated because of the two following M1 flares. Very strange event, but that is from today, a polar cap absorption event. And this is right at 1508 when the third flare had just popped off. So very, very strange and peculiar. I will show you all what the third M flare looked like. Not that substantial at all, but definitely causing a polar cap absorption event. Very strange for an M1 flare, unless it was really the M4.7 helping it through. All right, here are all the flares thus far today. We can see we had these two M flares, an M1.2 and 1.8, that happened today, but they don't show up on GOES. They don't show up on GOES X-ray. So strange. I've never seen this happen before at 251 there and at 309. Three, three, uh, four, four, five, an M1.2 and an M1.8. And I will show you they don't show up, followed by that large M, really 4.7. And, well, we have that M1 that caused the polar absorption event right here at 1500, like I told you guys. Very strange. AR3445 is more than active. The only other sunspot I see any activity coming from is AR3438. I want to show you how those two M flares do not exist real quickly. All right, so those M flares would be in this area through here, and they do not exist on our GOES X-ray flux whatsoever. Obviously, the M4 is lining up right there at about 4 UTC time, but the other two M flares that are pictured do not show up on GOES X-ray, which catches all of the X-rays emitted from all of the solar flares. And AR3435 is Earth-facing, so this is next to impossible. Heading over to Lasco C3, even stranger stuff. Here we see an impact, but there's no CME. Then we see a large CME, and it's the last one, the M1, that caused the polar event based on the time it takes off, as you can see, right at noon. Very, very strange, to say the very, very least here. The only chrome mass ejection we see is from the M1.00 that also caused a, a polar absorption event. And ladies and gentlemen, these were all from the same sunspot as you saw, AR3445, with one being from AR3438. All right, headed over to STO. I want y'all to take a look here. This is AR3445 here. And it's just really, all these sunspots are happening. That's not today. Breaking in today, right now. And you can see all the activity, we'll do that again, all the activity coming from down here. Tons of flaring, I'm sure not all of it's been reported. And the other sunspot 
see where that one is. Real. So AR3445 is really coupled with AR3442. It's a big sunspot group. I don't know why they're named separately. And then the only other sunspot that's done anything is AR3438. This little sunspot here, not 3435. It looks like it would be the most active. Taking another look at that on STO. This is probably going to be AR3438 right here that's been so active. This is AR3435 that's extremely active today. And there's a flare coming out right there. That's probably the one flare from the day here. Amazing how active our sun is and how little space weather they tell us is hitting us. Although we are having a polar cap absorption event. Again, these are all of the solar flares from today. And these are the two M flares that don't exist on Lasco X-ray flux. An M1.2 and an M1.8 before the M4347 depending on the source. Very strange indeed. And the M1 here causing all the havoc. That's even stranger. Now, most of our KP indexes say we still have not been hit by anything except for the college index. That's say we got hit by six hours of geomagnetic storm, including a G2 yesterday and three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. Something must be inbound that's huge if they've all coupled up together. This could be an evening to remember for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. There are no coronal holes anywhere near Earth facing anymore. So any event that should be inbound should be plasma, not solar winds, period. If it's solar winds, I want to know how and from where. So did we have three Earth-facing M flares, two barely breaching the M-class solar flare region, and one being a 4.3 to 4.7, depending on the source? Or did we have five with two additional M flares in this area, as reported, but not as seen? I've never seen this happen before, period. With that said, guys, please share, please subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world.